Okay, hey guys. Uh, so the last thing uh, in the control code that I gave you is the actual script file itself. So we've looked at the three functions, join angles, move A to B, and point A to B. Now you need to know how to, um, <coughs> or how this all kind of comes together, I guess. So I'm not going to talk too much about uh, the initial stuff, as that can all just be left the same. Don't need to touch that, like this, these first lines here. Okay, uh, what you then need to look at is this. So the points and movement resolution, basically this is where you want to set up uh, your points and the resolution between each each of those. So for example here I've just got points 1 and 2. These are actually the points on your on your file, on your sheet, sorry. Uh, you also notice that I've got 380 minus 200. That's because the points are actually, the origin of the points is down in the bottom left hand corner of the sheet, but the origin of your robot is actually at 200, 200. So you just need to manipulate all these points by minusing 200 off every uh, every uh, coordinate. Okay, so I've done it simply like that. Um, so this one will become 180, negative 180, 180, 180. Okay, um, so that's points one and two. And then I say, then I'm calling saying, so the resolution between points one to two is equal to five. Okay, so that's just a random resolution I set based on just looking looking at it and visually expecting going, ah, oh, yeah, we'll divide that up into five segments or so. Okay, again, not going to talk about this. You won't need to t uh, do anything about that or again. What you, what the section that I'm talking about is this, that I'll mainly be talking about is the move in a straight line from point one to point two. And basically, you're going to have to copy this thing here, okay, um, and just copy, paste, and just maybe manipula manipulate it a bit and change it around so it, uh, works for your robot configuration. Okay, so the first thing I do in this little section of the script, which is the main part, it's the part that moves it in a straight line, is I go, okay, let's call some array, let's create an array called points, and it's equal to, and I'm calling a function. Okay, so I'm calling that function points A to B, so point one, point two, and res resolution one, two. Okay, so my A is point one, my B is 0.2 and my resolution 1, 2 is um, the resolution between those two points A and B. Okay, and I basically store its result, okay, so it's the array that it spits out, similar to down here, in points. So if I actually kind of, I'll step it through kind of in the command uh, prompt window so you can kind of see what's going on. So the first thing is, let me set up this, okay, so that we have all the variables. Um, Okay, so that's setting up points one, points two, okay, and whatnot. I'm then going to set up this, call this line, just to show you what happens. Okay, so it divides up those points um, into small segments, so five segments here. Okay, going in, uh, and it is a vertical line, this one, so you notice that the X coordinate stays the same, and the Y coordinate is incrementing by 72 each time. Okay. I then go into this for loop, okay? Uh, the reason for this for loop is obviously you've got five segments here, so you need to run, you need to, and you want it to do small arcs, so you need to do five small arcs. And um, rather than going, you could do like this, this sort of code, uh, this line of code here, and just copy and paste depending on the number of resolutions, but the way I've written this code, it's nice, you can easily change your resolution and uh, you won't have to worry about copying and pasting or things like that just based on the for loop here. So the for loop basically goes, okay, let's call some increment counter i and let's start at one. Remember uh, MATLAB matrices start at one, not zero, like usual coding practices. Um, and let's say go up and we want to go up to the length of points minus one. Okay, so the length of points would be six. And we want to go, oh, sorry, and, ooh. Length of points is, is 6, and we're 1 less than 6, so that's 5. You could also just as easily write resolution A to B, uh, resolution of 1 to 2 here. Um, but when you go copy and paste this code as such, you like directly copy and paste your code and change it here, you don't need to do anything here. It's just, um, but this, this thing here is the same as resolution, um, your resolution of 1 to 2. Okay, so you could as easily, just as easily write resolution one to two okay like that might as well leave it like that now yeah? so 
we're starting at one and we're going up to the resolution. So one up to the resolution. So in this case, we've got five segments. So we're going to go from one to five. Okay. So the first thing we do is we basically what we first want to do, what we basically want to do is we want to call this move A to B function, which calls the joint angles function and then spits out how much our motor A needs to move in terms of encoded uh, ticks as well as motor B, how much it needs to move in encoded ticks as well as their two relative powers um, to each other. So, but to do that, we need to set up first off points A and B, the ones that, we're, that we supply the move A to B function. Okay, and to do that, what we do is we go A is equal to, okay, we're creating, so the square brackets here are indicating that we're creating a row, uh, vector. And what we're doing is going, okay, points I, one. So basically the, that one corresponds to the column. Okay, so we're looking at the, if we look at points again, we're looking at the ith element, okay, and in the first column. So it'll be some, one of these x values here, okay? And the i, for the first loop, i is one, so it's gonna look at this one here and set that to be a. And then we go, okay, then the second element of a is going, saying points i, Okay, so i is 1, so it's going to look at the first row, and then the 2 is going to look at the second column. So that basically will take this and call that a. So a will basically be equal to, if we actually just copy and paste this code, you'll notice that it'll be equal to 180, negative 180. Okay, oops, I actually got to define i to be 1. So I'm just going to change. So we know on the first loop i is 1, you want to change it like that, and you notice that a is 181, negative 180. B is the exact same thing, except rather than looking at the ith point, we want to look at the ith plus one point to get just the point, the next point along in that array. So basically, that would be the ith, po ith coordinate, and we're looking at the ith plus one coordinate. So we're taking that one there, and that becomes B. Okay? So again, if I demo that down here, remember that I is one to begin with in the first for loop, the first time that the for loop iterates, and you get B is 180, negative 108, which you notice is the second element. Okay, so basically we're just looking at these two only. Okay, and we put those in the move A to B function and you get all this business. Okay, so and you notice Q1 is 98, uh, power A is negative 24, Q2 is probably obviously gonna be higher than uh, higher than Q1 because that's and so power B should be 100 then what's happening there oh okay uh, power B is negative 100 okay and then you basically send these you, you tell these to the um, NXT by saying okay set the power of motor A by calling MA dot power to be equal to power A the Taco limit that you want to set for motor A is Q1, motor B power is power B, and motor B taco limit is Q2. Okay, so you're just saying preparing the movement. You then actually send the, both of those to the NXTs, and then you just wait until they um, have reached uh, these taco limits based on these powers. And then so it's just waiting there, waiting there, waiting there. Once it gets there, it goes, goes okay, I'm at the end of the for loop, I'll come back and increment my count, my eye counter by one. Okay, so it'll go up to two for the second iteration and it'll do the exact same thing. So when I increments to two, what I'll actually do is obviously I is two here now. So it'll take this one and set that to A and it'll take this one and set that to B. Okay, and basically it'll do the same thing. Use the move A to B function, work out these four parameters, send those four parameters to the NXT um, using this and then basically uh, prepare them in the NXT send them to the NXT, wait until it reaches that, that new, that, that basically that new point, so the 180, negative 36 in this, in the second iteration and in this example, wait until it goes there. Once it gets there, it'll loop back around again and go to the third one, etc., etc. So it'll basically just work through these sets of points iteratively and once it gets to the final one, it'll then, it'll know that, so the final set of points is the fifth um, pair in this one here, so you've got one pair, two pair, three pair, four pair, and the fifth pair. Once it gets to the fifth pair, because that's our resolution, um, you're then gonna end up, the for loop realize it needs to end, and it goes end, and so you get out of this 
uh, looping this loop here and then you can move on and go from point two to point three okay again just Matt so set up your points to an uh, point three here and then your two to three resolution etc etc copy and paste this code just making sure that you change obviously you want to go from point two to point three and resolution of two three and you have a resolution of two three in your for loop okay and then you you should be sweet okay um, and then it just ends the session again I'm not going to explain that um, but this is this is what you really need to know this this for loop and what it's doing so really it's just this first thing sets up an array like this and then basically the for loop is just stepping through the pairs and sorry stepping through the pairs sequential pairs and basically constantly moving so it starts at this point it'll move to this point then it'll move to that point and so forth etc etc by just looking at the pairs of points okay so that's all this code is doing um, and I hope that I hope that helps okay uh, you're gonna have to manually set your resolution you could do some interesting coding saying looking at the length of the line and dividing it up based on the length into a number of points or something like that uh, but that's up to you I, I personally would just look at the line and go look at the segment and go yeah that's that's fairly large segment let's divide it up into four or five or whatever whatever you want to do or that's a very short segment segment we just can have a resolution of one and then it goes straight from point one to point two or whatever the points are okay so I hope that helps um, I hope me going through these functions as well helps clear up a few things um, exactly what you need to change so again you shouldn't really have to change anything in the demo control too except by copying pasting and then changing these to be the respective um, respective points and resolutions points A to B you sh won't need to touch move A to B the only thing you're gonna have to change or the only thing you should need to change are these two depending on the orient the physical orientation of your motors but the main thing you're gonna have to look at is this joint angles setting the right ratios making sure the inverse kinematics is right and then making sure that the to find the encoder value uh, you are getting them in degrees and times them by the correct ratios and things like that okay so that so the joint angles is really the one you're going to need to change um, and maybe move A to B as well as just uh, the demo control just uh, doing this over another four or five times okay so yeah really it's the joint angles that you're gonna to have to really focus on and once you've got that correct really most of it should be shouldn't be too bad okay yeah so I hope that helps um, let us know if you need any more anything else peace out